Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Let's see who is here from the friends. Hello. Five people, six people, oh, coming again and again. Let's see. Does we have our friends? I'm waiting for the chat. I cannot see the chat yet. Hello, hello, everybody. Have a nice weekend. Uh, I hope, uh, hi, Jill. Uh, to be as more creative you can be. Uh, tonight we are live uh, from uh, my studio in Athens, Greece. I'm Vasilis, I'm uh, brand ambassador of Finabe. Uh, for the people that doesn't know me, uh, thank you for this opportunity to make lives uh, to the redesign with Prima Group. I'm so happy uh, that uh, I created some uh, products using the Fina Bear, and this uh, and today I was thinking to make something vintage, something easy you can find, and uh, a nice uh, idea. Hello, Iveta, uh, for a decoration in your house. It's uh, uh, easy you can find. Uh, and, uh, a nice, uh, it's the PC now it's work. <laughs> Uh, 10 uh, hours uh, get late. So it's a vase from, uh, uh, you know this vase, it's from Ikea. You can find uh, very easily and it's cheap, it's not expensive. I already applied some gesso and I'm using a vintage photo from the album of uh, Anna Vintage Photo Booth. Uh, photo booth. There is beautiful uh, images inside of couples, of babies, of uh, ladies, of uh, you know of the past time. But this is an idea that you can use in your house, and uh, you can uh, put uh, a, a family uh, photo. You can print in a laser printer, and you can. Uh, Add a photo of your grandfather, your grandmother, um, uh, your uh, child, uh, anything. And you can use it, or, or you can uh, uh, make it for your friends. And it's a nice Christmas uh, gift, an unusual, I, I believe. And uh, I think they get happy. So, uh, around the photo I, apply, I, I make laces with modeling paste and mounts and uh, I apply the modeling paste inside the mounts waiting for one day and then take it off. Hello, hello dear friends from all over the world. I'm so happy you are here with me. And uh, now I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. For sure it will be uh, a style a little brocant uh, that it's very popular in the last uh, uh, year. Hello Belinda, my good friend Belinda from Berlin. Finally, uh, I found a lady, uh, I don't say names, and I order. <laughs> Hello Anna from Poland, Chess Anna, Anna Korzewska, a very talented lady. Uh, we had the first workshop together in Poland, my first workshop in Poland. So, uh, if, you, if you know me, I'm from Greece, I'm uh, a craft teacher. Uh, before Covid I travel uh, every weekend in a different country of the world. Now with Covid we cannot travel, as you know, so we make lives. And also, don't forget... Uh, um, uh, I'm, as I told you, I'm brand ambassador of Finaber, 
and I have uh, my group Art Moments with Vasilis, where I have uh, my paid workshop every 15 days. Uh, yesterday we make furniture, in 15 days we have uh, a ladybug uh, with a lot of Finaber products uh, inside, okay? Uh, so let's start to see how we are going to decorate the vase. I already passed a layer of, pra of uh, gesso, uh, the white gesso from Finaber, and now uh, I'm going to play with black gesso, metallic colors, uh, a little uh, 3D powder, the mini uh, art stones uh, inside. I was thinking to add in some places the Mika flakes that I like, I like and it's, it's a vintage style. So let's start and uh, let's see what we are going to create today, okay? Because time is running. So I put the camera down. So I hope everybody you can see. And first I'm going to apply I have a white gesso and I mix uh, with uh, mini art stones because I want to give a texture in my... Uh, I like to create a texture in my project becomes more interesting than a smooth uh, surface, you know that always mix everything and try to find new uh, Something new, something interesting and something new. Just a little more. These are the mini art stones from Finaber. Okay. Chess, Katarzyna, Katarzyna Harlak, another talented lady from uh, Holland. And now I'm going to use a sponge that we use to clean the dishes because this gives me just a little more uh, and in some places I'm going to add uh, this I want especially in the top ah, uh, uh, something that I forgot to tell you that uh, if you don't want to make a lace with a modeling paste and weight, you can use with heavy body gel different laces like this and glue on your vase uh, with uh, heavy body gel, of course. It's the best glue, the heavy body gel for everything. Or, or and uh, soft gloss gel. Both works with the laces, okay. So here and there, I'm adding this texture okay because I want uh, an effect more uh, old okay. I put also on the top of my lace because I don't I don't want my lace to be flat okay I want something looks very vintage very old Okay. Hola Marisol. My good friend Belinda has yesterday workshop in Berlin, and I say I wish I I, I could be there in your workshop. So, no, not, uh, I, I don't need more, okay, so then I'm going to add in some places on the top of my vase the white crackler, so white crackler, white crackler, um, it's here. And I'm using a small brush. Because I don't want 
So my child in this way it's a, it's a nice way to use white crackle except uh, the palette knife without more vintage of itself. I want to give uh, the idea that uh, maybe the days from uh, the year uh, cracks and so on uh, or looks like broken and I hope we have the result. Okay. Not much, you know, just on the top. I clean my brush now. Okay. So this is that uh, I used the was the Finaber White Crackele. And now I'm going to use the clear Crackele. No. I'm going to paint the half of my base with uh, with black gesso. So I dry on the bottom my vase. So I can paint with black gesso. Okay, and then I need the black gesso, heavy gesso black, okay. Chai Sanya! Oh, again we have to go back to work. Oh. So let's paint our rays. Nicely, in every detail, we don't go into white uh, areas. This is uh, a very classic vase from Ikea. Uh, it's a classic, uh, from his classic, uh, you can find every year. And I don't think, I think it doesn't uh, cost more than uh, uh, five or six euro, but have a beautiful shape uh, so in which you can create ideas. You can uh, put it also uh, opposite uh, and put a ressort or a candle up here, and this is a base for a candle also. Okay.
another idea. You can buy three, four of these veins and you can make a, a composition, a beautiful composition, and turn upside down and use them like a, like, a, like a candle holder, how you call it. I'm going to paint from the lace and down, okay? I turn like this so you can see. And I'm using a smaller brush to go close. Okay? I hope you like uh, the other two projects I already made it, uh, during my lives, the bow blue and the pumpkin. I hope that I give you some ideas. Kalispera I, I, I have to speak also Greek because a lot of uh, Greek people are on now. So, uh, hello, Kalispera Kisoulis to Selinus, who me parakolutun afti tstigmi. Dimiurgo ena vintage vaso me ta ilika tseterias finabel. Ένα βάζο το οποίο μπορείτε να το βρείτε στο IKEA είναι φτηνό και μπορείτε να το μετατρέψετε και να το κάνετε όπως θέλετε έχω ήδη κολλήσει ε, μια δαντέλα που έχω φτιάξει από μόντιλιν πέιστ και καλούπια από τη μόντιλιν πέιστ της Φίλαμπερ και καλούπια η modeling paste είναι ελαστική και γι' αυτό μπορεί ε, όταν στεγνώσει να εφαρμοστεί πάνω σε βάζο. I say that the modeling paste of Finabel when you dry it's elastic and so if you make laces with mounts you can uh, put uh, on your project very easily. Okay. So this is my bottom of the I have to go also inside here, a little. Ε, είπα επίση ότι αν δεν θέλετε να χρησιμοποιήσετε καλούπια για να κάνετε δαντέλε, μπορείτε να, να κολλήσετε δαντέλε ε, κανονικέ, υφασμάτινε, με heavy body gel ε, την εταιρεία Finnabel. Και εγώ έχω κολλήσει μια δαντέλα η οποία έχει ανακοινώσει στη μέση και το έκανα σαν κορνίζα και έχω βάλει μια βίντεο τη φωτογραφία ενός ζευγαριού εσείς μπορείτε να βάλετε μια δική σας κάποιον φίλο σας οκ τους παππούδες ξέρω εγώ το εγγόνι σας οκ so what color are going to paint now I want the gesso dry the black gesso dry then I apply a metallic color from uh, the acrylic, uh, the art art in it. And finally, I I'm add uh, some uh, hello inge, some uh, 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 the clear cracker, and to see how. Uh, cracks on the metallic color, I believe it look, will look uh, beautiful. 
Ciao a tutti all'Italia. Eh, un abbraccio. Now, before I paint with uh, my color, that uh, I'm going to use the vintage pink, the dusty rose uh, from uh, the impasto Finaber collection. I'm going to add the soft matte gel. Some, uh, where is it? Here. Some mica flakes. Okay. It's beautiful flakes. It's not so cold but uh, has beautiful result and I'm using again a small brush I add some flakes here okay. and I mix with the uh, Soft matte gel. And I'm going to glue them in uh, spaces that I want. Look how beautiful. And what I think that's a beautiful result they have. So after I'm going to paint the I put around the photo. Okay. In my lace. And then when I, I, I'm going to paint with Dusty Rose, Carefully, I paint around them. I don't want to hide completely, but you can see, and after on the lace, we add the, the liquid acrylics, the burnt skin, and maybe the tiger orange. Okay, and change completely give a beautiful uh, vintage result more ways I add a little more of this it's very beautiful these flakes and you can find uh, in a finaber uh, materials and products. Okay. The soft matte gel uh, helps us uh, to add such a small and delicate uh, materials. Or if I wanted uh, to add some micro beads or uh, this, uh, I think. Uh, give us a very nice result and very vintage result so in the places that I don't have uh, cracking paste or gesso with the mini stones I'm going I, I didn't put here and there but in my empty areas okay here that I believe that I have uh, an empty area and I could uh, put something this can replace the very nicely the gold foils and have more vintage uh, 
and it's beautiful the result, okay? Okay, so I add this uh, beautiful flakes. Let's see, and some here inside. From the mulch with clay also, I create some uh, from the Prima mulch. Okay, so I add also the flakes, the soft matte gel, and now I dry on the top. Hello Sandra. Okay, let's uh, let's create our color. So this case, we put it on the side. So, in pasto are uh, acrylic colors, very thick, uh, they cover uh, like a gesso, you can use without gesso before, uh, you can mix, uh, it's water based colors, uh, when they uh, dry, uh, gives uh, cover the surface completely. Uh, I can say it's a, a, a stronger material than the chalk colors. And uh, in one of my next uh, redesign with Prima lives, I'm going to create a small cabinet uh, with the uh, impasto colors from Finable. Okay, so I'm going to make a furniture with these colors, okay? So the, the dusty rose, it's a very nice color, uh, very vintage, I, I like very much, and when you mix after with the liquid acrylic or with the boxes, uh, change sometimes uh, the color and it looks very old and very nice. 
So I take again a small brass and carefully because maybe something it's not uh, close the flakes. It's not wet. So with a soft brass, I begin to paint. My vase, okay. okay. If I will just to help a little. I can spray with water. With the water go better when you have laces and um, such a materials. You can apply the color much better. Smaller brass because going to the details better. close to the photo. And you can see now the flakes with the rose, uh, with the, this color, how beautiful uh, uh, look. It's uh, more vintage. It's like it was gold in this area and from the past of uh, the time, uh, I guess the past the time. Uh, go off and stay some places. This is the effect I, I try to give. Okay, that's why I put here and there. And not everywhere, I didn't cover everywhere with these flakes. That it's not uh, completely gold, it's like vintage gold. It's a, a strange color, it's like bronze. So I finish and close to finish the painting. Now it's dusty rose with black. What a combination, huh? What can I say? Yep, agree, and I will travel if Belinda doesn't come to Wales.
already have a texture with the word Krakenea. I have some cracks. Uh, I have some uh, uh, with the gesso and the uh, uh, mini stones. It's more interesting. It's not something flat. You know, it's more uh, 3D. My vase. It's a nice vase, I repeat again, that you can find uh, uh, easily. It's cheap and uh, have a shape that you can work and make uh, a lot of beautiful things. Okay. Tonight uh, I'm trying to give uh, a brocante style. Brocante mean uh, in uh, means in French this that the English said uh, sabisic. Okay. So brocante is something old, something very vintage. And I finish my painting. Okay, so let's see also on the top because I add patina to the end. Let me see where it needs a little more color. Okay. Here. Okay. okay. So, like this, it's now my base. Okay. Until now. What now? What color? Hello, Lulu. Uh, what color I'm going to paint uh, on the bottom? It's already uh, dry. So from the I have some uh, from Art, Art Alchemy uh, acrylic paint of, of Finaber. I have the blackberry that I like very much, and it's a very vintage color. And I have one red also. I didn't know when I was checking about the colors. Uh, I like this red, but uh, I think the winner is ah. And I have the uh, the, rust, uh, the rustic uh, brown that is also a vintage nice color. So this is like aubergine. Okay, this is like uh, more. Uh, Steampunk, no. It's maybe maybe I'm going to try both and to see which one I like more. Okay. Oh, και μετά το χρώμα μπορείς να τα βάλεις στα flakes. Εγώ απλά ήθελα να τα καλύψω λίγο για να μην κάνω πολύ μπαμ κατέρινα. So. Let's see this aubergine, beautiful color. 
and this one. Both, I believe, are uh, beautiful and vintage color. Δεν έχουν εφημερίσμα κοιμωλίας, αλλά είναι πολύ παχύρευστα. Είναι σαν τζέλ περίπου κατερίνα και καλύπτουν, είναι πολύ καλυπτικά. Let's take again a small brush. So let's add a little rustic brown. Okay, and a little blackberry. Oh, I like blackberry. And uh, I'm going to use another brush. I take uh, a kitchen towel, and I want a small brush again, not a very big, or a big and be soft. So I take just a little from one, just a little from the other. I create something new. I clean my brush and I'm going to add I mix the two colors and I begin to paint Here I need more. Like dry brushing. Let's put some others in more. Here. Especially to the end. A bit darker. Okay. My brush has color. You see, you like the combination. So I take from both colors. As I'm going down, I want more aubergine, more uh, aubergine, more blackberry, and I open as I'm going up with a uh, rustico brown, okay? First I take the color, then I clean my brush, and then I pass the metallic color. Okay, and I need a little more. Here. Okay. This uh, color, uh, the blackberry, it's amazing. I love very, very, very much. Okay, so these are the two colors from acrylic paint that I paint my bottom. And now I'm going to make uh, to work uh, on my top before I'm going on the top I dry
and <coughs> sorry, I'm going to add the clear crackle. Okay. So I have here texture paste clear crackle. What do you mean clear? It's also a water based uh, varnish. Uh, uh, varnish, sorry, uh, crackle. And uh, it's uh, transparent and it's uh, milky when you apply, but as dry become transparent. And then when you add uh, the patina on the top, uh, you can see the cracks. When you put the 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 box uh, from Finabe, you can see the cracks. So, for example, you begin a, a project, and suddenly you remember that you want to make crackle, and you didn't uh, use uh, the 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 paste, the white crackle. So you can, uh, after, put on the top uh, this crackle and you have a cracks again. So I take a, a small brush and you're going to see, I'm going to add with a brush here. I want to have like cracks that go down. Okay, that's why I do it like this. On the opposite, I'm going in some empty space that I have in my vase or add on my lace some. Okay. So as you can see now it's milky, but when it gets dry, becomes transparent and you can see the cracks. So I don't need more. It's not nice to, to put a lot in your project, but just create ideas that, for example, create stories that here fall down and cracks a little, uh, or uh, uh, after the years, cracks. Okay, there is, uh, this is what we try to do, it's to look more uh, vintage. And now I dry on the top of my vase to begin. So I'm going to use now the burnt sienna liquid acrylic and uh, a little water. So liquid acrylic is another uh, acrylic color, uh, transparent, water-based uh, from the collection of Finaber with a very strong pigment. Uh, you can, uh, when uh, dry, it's uh, glossy and uh, you can apply uh, with a uh, uh, brush or you can apply uh, with uh, a small brush and spray with water so to create uh, vintage shades in, in your project so i take a little and i'm going here that i have the lace i add around Here that I have my lace. Okay. 
everything. I turn it upside down because I don't want to, to uh, create problem down that it's also the cracking layer. Just clean out the cracking layer. So just a little more than the scanner. I'm putting here that it's my clay and my baroque element in all my layers. And then I take spray water and spray to flow. into my lace and give more beautiful shape and more vintage. Okay. And also you can use your brush so to apply this Also, the liquid acrylics, when dry, becomes permanent. Okay. Pink. Gives a very beautiful shades to your project. So, if you don't want a lot, you can remove it with water. If you want more, you add again with your uh, brush. Okay. Or also you can spray first. And then you can... And you know, uh, you can see now that the vintage pink with the liquid acrylic, the burnt scanner, give a new color, more vintage and more beautiful. Okay. You need the blackberry. I love also blackberry, Bianca. Okay, and now I'm going also opposite. And I apply a little on the top because I want shades also here to look more old. My way, so I put it on the top and spray again with water to flow down. and create beautiful and now I dry if go a little burnt skin on your uh, uh, photo uh, become more yellow and looks more old your photo so it's not problem okay
Γεια σου, Ελενάκη. Κάνω ένα βίντεο ατσεβάζο του Ικέα. Hello, Renata. So, uh, what are my next step uh, to finish my vase? Uh, the first step is to take a brush, a hard brush, uh, take a little gesso, okay? Clean my brush in kitchen towel and make on the top dry brush. Okay, so again, yes, so I clean and with the hard brush, I pass my veins again. As you can see, the clear trachea becomes already uh, transparent in some place. And uh, when we apply the uh, matte boxes after to finish our work, we, we can see the cracks. Okay. Here in the photo, just a little good uh, dry brush because it was not uh, finished. Okay, then I'm, I'm using. The red, the brown, brown, where is the, where is the brown? Oh, look, you see. This I need. Okay, the black. This is the black, no? no, this is the red. I'm trying to find here it is. The, from the matte boxes, I'm going to use uh, the brown matte box okay and I begin to apply my box on the top 
Okay. To give a vintage. And you can use your finger to apply. Okay. Here and the you see now the flakes are not so visible but are nice. Gives a nice effect. So my brow I must work like this. It's better. So the mat wax on the top. When you make shades, don't uh, make a line. Uh, work uh, pulling down your um, your works, and you have better result. Okay, and also we can add some uh, in our lace. And especially near the photo of the brown box and after with the baby white before the box dry So with a baby wipe, before the wax dry, you can just remove. And you have a very beautiful vintage effect also. So I'm going to do this baby. baby. In all my lace. to have this beam that's effect. Accident happens sometimes. And I remove with my baby wipe. Okay. And I have say it's also uh, close the lace. Okay. And quickly, I show you the last step. That uh, first, I take the eight brass wax, a metallic wax from Finnabe, with my finger, and very softly, I apply my clay here, my lace. So I have highlights and the lace is more visible and more uh, uh, looks like antique, like a frame, like a metallic frame around my photo. Okay. Okay. 
and then just a little down. Okay, because I don't want to lose the blackberry. It's so beautiful. But I want uh, some uh, a tone just a little different. And after my uh, my eight brass patina, of course, ah, eight brass patina also. I will apply on the top of my project. Yesterday I finished the furniture with uh, this uh, box and the furniture becomes wow. I post also photos tomorrow. And I don't want to stay in the eighth brass. On the top, I add and the little old silver, and with old silver, I don't want this very gold, you know, brass. It's more uh, delicate and more vintage with the old silver. You see, eighth brass first, and old silver on the top. And I just a minute here. And here and there, not everywhere. I want in some places can see the brass, but I want also the silver. And of course, then a lot, a lot more. Here. So, so I will finish, and uh, I'm going to show you tomorrow. I hope you like it. I, I, I give you a beautiful idea with the Finaber products to create uh, something for your home or uh, as a gift for your friends now in Christmas. If we if we are going to see our friends, of course because maybe we have also locked down. So, uh, I hope you like it, my idea for tonight. See you in the next live with Prima. And don't forget in 19, we have a workshop with the Ladybug, okay? So, good night to everybody. Love you all. Stay safe, stay home and be creative. Bye-bye.